One of the biggest challenges we found over the last couple of years, the weather has always been very varied. Um, we found before in the past it could be raining on one side of this field and another side of the field it could be dry. And I just always thought that a good idea would be to have like weather systems around the country that you could tap into on your phone or your computer or anything at all and see what the weather is in different parts around the, around the province. But we found a lot of the times the weather could say it's going to be wet and the next time it's actually dry and you could be cutting silage or mowing silage and everybody gets put off. Now, we have one of these wee rain gauges here. They're a great wee thing if you remember to clean them out. But my trouble is I always forget to clean them out. Um, no word of a lie, I don't know what's in it. There's about 5 10 mil in it. I don't know when that's from. And a few of our customers has these, uh, these smart weather stations you can log into on your phone. I've always thought they'd been a good idea, but then I looked at the price of one from, a, from a Dad's birthday or for Christmas present, and I thought nah, it, was, it was too dear, it wasn't going to suit me, so I stuck with the plastic one. And then it just happened to be Gary from Urban AgriCare asked us, would we fancy trying out one of these weather stations here? So the plan is to try one of these smart weather stations here. Gary has asked us kindly, would we mind trying it, doing a few videos and talk about how easy it is to set up or how difficult it is, just basically I'm prepared to tell the truth. So I'm going to try it out for a while. It, it links up to my phone and I, reading the website, it gives me wind, it gives me soil temperature, it gives me air temperature and it gives me rainfall precipitation. So we're going to try it and see what it's like and set it up and see how we get on. One of the things in the instructions it does say is that try and choose a site that's flat and obviously free from obstruction. Um, Getting there somewhere on our farm is a bit difficult. We obviously have a lot of buildings around. I might not get the correct wind reading from one direction, but I don't want to put it too far away because it's not my system, just in case anything happens till out of sight, out of mind type of thing. So we've chosen this location here. We'll get wind from a good 300, 350 degrees, and the wind coming over the top of the shade should get back down again. So should we, get, we should get the correct wind direction. So I've just I've had a quick read of the instructions, and we're going to set it up and just see how easy it is to set up and. Any comments, I feel like, as we go along, well, we'll shout them out. You gonna give me a hand? No? You gonna help? No, okay, I'll do it myself. <laughs> do it, do it, Finally got it screwed into the ground there and I. It took a wee bit of work, but, but we got there. No, 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 keep the camera this way. <laughs> keep the camera this way. Uh, just working on a wee bit of rock, so we had to dig a bit of a hole, didn't we, Jonathan? Let's see what's in the box. Let's see what comes with it. This is the first time opening it. That's fancy, isn't it? So, first of all, it sits up on top of a pole to collect all the re relevant information, so I'll put the poles in first, see what happens, will we? Yeah. One thing it does say for best results is to keep the solar panel, which is this part here facing south. So it's fully solar powered, you don't need any connectivity at all. So it's fairly easy mounted on the pole. A couple of clamps. Just need to tighten up. Thought you'd be taking it back out. You meant to be helping. Watch out. So that's fairly secured on the pole. Doesn't go to seem to move too far. The wind speed sensor is working already, and uh, I don't think we'll have long until we uh, get a bit of rainfall inside it. So I think we might have to take a bit of a rain break. I'm just going to quickly put the soil temperature probe in and then see if I can set the rest up from my phone. They have an app and you can record it and set it up on the app. And it tells you how you get on and everything on the app. So We have it up on the stand. And as you can see the wind speed sensor is turning already. And then we have the rain gauge here. It'll catch the rain. 
and then the solar panel on the end, the part of the whole thing, facing southwards. And I'm just installing installing the uh, temperature sensor probe. It wants to be about 15 centimeters into the ground and about 10 centimeters away from the pole. So I've spiked a hole here. I'm going to drop it down in and then just firm the soil back up again. So we're about 15 centimeters in. I'll put that in, give it a good tramp with my bit, and then just clamp the cord, a uh, cable onto the pole, just uh, for safety. We have the station up and running. We have the soil temperature probe nicely secured in and down into the ground. Now, one of the things I did mention earlier about this type of system was the cost. And that's what put me off initially for going something like this. Um, this system is actually, it actually caught my eye the Gary sent me the details and asked me what to look at it. It's actually a subscription based service. Rather than you having the initial outlay of purchasing the system and doing the upkeep, you just pay a small fee uh, per year to have the system on your farm and any repairs is carried out by the company. Now, the, actual, the actual system itself is from Cordulus. Uh, I'll link the website and tell them to come up online and they're doing these systems for different types of industries. And this, this is an agricultural system and it has certain features that will be more appropriate to me. So the next step now, now it's all set up, the next step now is to turn the app on and see if we can get it working. So, so far it, it seems fairly simple to set up. Uh, Cordulus, the company that makes it, has an app, which I have on my phone here. Uh, it's called Cordulus Farm App and it's fairly simple to Follow the instructions and see what way to set it up. The weather station needs activated uh, for the first time, so they give you a magnet. Hopefully, it works in the bag. And then apparently, you hold it on the circle, and there will be a light. Ah, green. Still, I would still like to be using the. Uh, I'll still try to use the plastic green gauge as best I can, just to see how accurate this new system actually is. They're within. They're within four or five hundred meters of each other, so they shouldn't be significantly out. So we'll keep using the good old trusted pen and paper and manual station, and then we'll compare it to the results of this one and, and see how we get on. So first initial impressions and setup, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you could do that in 10, 15 minutes. It took me a bit longer, just toddler, baby, wife on the GoPro, trying to keep everybody happy and trying to do a bit of talking as we went along. But if you were following the instructions, literally 10 minute job, a uh, 17 mil spanner or socket and cable snips is all you need. The hardest part was probably digging the hole, just in the site that we were, it's quite stony, quite rocky. But if you're in your garden or soft soil at all, you can screw that in in a couple of seconds. But yeah, it's so far setting up, seems all pretty good. So just waiting for the app to initialize and see what type of results and what it does.